On this episode of the Info Wars News Blitz, protesters freak out a young Lucifer after a town hall opens up with prayer. Celebrities at the Oscars attack, attack Trump, and leak audience shows anti-Trump forces manufacturing hostile town hall. That and a lot more, so stay tuned. For the week of February the 27th, which is actually the final week, 2017. This is the first article of the day here. It's an article written by Peter Hansen of the Daily Caller. And the title is called, Protesters Freak Out and Yell Lucifer After GOP Town Hall Opens Up With a Prayer. They, they become especially furious when the chaplain closes the prayer in Jesus' name. Oh my god. I don't believe what I just read right there. Liberals protested became enraged when a Louisiana town hall with Republican Senator Bill Cassidy opened with a prayer earlier this week, screaming at the chaplain as he tried to lead the crowd into prayer. The protesters, who were with a local chapter of the anti Trump group in Indivisible, can be heard shouting. The chaplain saying, in God we trust. One man can be... One hand can be heard. Prayer on your own time. Others, incredibly, prayer, prayer. Video of the event is first reported by the Washington Free Beacon. Reveals one woman shouting the name Lucifer while the chaplain invokes God's name. After other than non-protesting attendees can be heard, heard trying to shush the protesters. Protesters can be heard, heard about separating separation of church and state. Although the prayer, although the prayer, they became especially fierce when the chaplain closed the prayer in Jesus' name. The protesters then repeated their stunt during the Pledge of Allegiance. Booing and heckling throughout. I mean, uh, this is disturbing, even by my standards. And here's Alex Jones on that subject. Here's his uh, report. But this isn't just viral posts on Facebook pushed by Hollywood stars and music stars uh, that you know got picked up. This is happening at the town halls all over the country that the controlled corporate fake stream media is pushing people to go out to. And at these, if the towns dare have an opening prayer, uh, protesters freak out, yell Lucifer after GOP town hall opens with a prayer. And you watch the video, it's like something out of the Bible where they're like, no, not prayer, oh, Lucifer. I mean, this is like, are they going to turn into frogs or something? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to it for the Lord one nation under God, in the middle. This is crazy. And then, of course, you have what's happened in Texas, where they're having a pro-life event trying to pass a ban on partial birth abortions, and people show up and start saying, Hail Satan, Hail Satan. You say, oh, well, they're just trying to be, you know, shocking. No, this is the spirit they're into. I know people that are in the pro-abortion movement. It isn't like they had an abortion, it was a mistake, or, you know, whatever, you're forgiven, whatever. We're not telling people that have had abortions. It's the fact that women that are really into it, like Gloria Steinem, say it's a ritual. They're proud of it. How many did I adopt? I kill my kids. I kill my kids. Those babies, I pay for that. I know something? I pay all my money for that. I you're get free abortions you on demand without apology. You are wicked as hell. Yep. And I'm going to hell. Yeah, I still pay to kill babies, though. Really? Oh, yeah. This is the definition of modern liberal... 
Okay, thank you, Mr. Jones. I mean, literally, folks. When you start doing that, you're bringing in a lot of bad mojo. I mean, that that is kind of the truth. And I'm and to be honest, I'm getting chills right now. Just 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 saying it. That is bad mojo. This is what the whole Harry Potter stuff was all about. Not saying that I'm bringing it up or whatever, but. When you start hearing that, <clears throat> excuse me, you now start to realize how how far down the rat hole we are, and how dangerous this is. I mean, that's bad mojo if you're actually doing that. Okay, for our second article of the day here is an article written by Entertainment Weekly, which was also by Infowars. The title is called, well, there was another title, but I'm not, I'm not going to bring it up. But anyway, here's the actual title here. Uh, Oscars Attack on Celebrities Unleashed on Hollywood Big Night by James Hemblin. Hibbard, or whatever his name is. Sorry about that. If I get the name wrong, sir, I am totally sorry. The first salvo against Donald Trump was fired only a few minutes into the Oscars, and then they kept on coming. In what appeared to be an unexpected number of jokes, allusions, and sincere Accusations compared by a single person during the during an outwards telecast. <coughs> Hollywood's most luminous track Trump and his policy during the eighth the eighty ninth annual Academy Awards, or they kind of called it the Oscars. From host Jimmy Kennel's opening monologue to the acceptance speeches to those blue ribbons in tuxedos lap hills lapels, they were directly and indirectly referring to the 45 president and throughout the ceremony. Yeah, but of, not to see the fools. And, and this. Campbell, excuse me, also made jokes about mediocre and overrated Cheryl Sh Meryl Shep, Shep, a referring to Trump's criticism to the actors who slammed him during the Golden Globes last month. And ABC Late night host noted that the actors will get speeches that the president will tweet about during in his, during all of his caps during a his 5 a.m. bowel movement tomorrow. Wow, Camel, what an asshole! What an asshole move, buddy. I'm sorry if I use my sorry for, for my language, folks. Later, when Iran directors. Agar Akfar Adil won the one one for the salesman. The award was accepted on behalf of on behalf by the far Ashraf. I'm I'm sorry, but I I'm getting all these uh, Arab names wrong. Farmed for being the first female space tourist. Oh God, it just goes on from here, folks. I mean, really, folks. And to be honest with you, folks, they actually screwed up. They, they they kept attacking Trump so bad that they actually forgot to uh they actually uh, I don't know maybe picked up the wrong envelope. <laughs> yeah, they said that La La Land won, but they they're like, oops, sorry, we made a mistake. Up up up, it was actually Moon Moonlight. Sorry, sorry, we didn't mean to. I mean, there you go. I mean, I don't even need to say how how the attack came here. They took up the wrong envelope. My God, they're that dumb. I mean, disconnected. They just kept attacking them and didn't realize that. Oh my God, we had to run. I'm both, oops, sorry. That's how deluded these people are. Now, with our with that, here's our final article here, and it's an article written by the Daily Caller. Just how this called. leaked audio reveals anti-Trump forces manufacturing hostile hostile town hall. It was written by Peter Peter Hassan. Leaked. Lead audio from anti-Trump protester group meets several activists with anti-Trump group Indivisible, plotting how to best manufacture a hostile environment at a town hall with Republican Senator Bill Cassidy in Bucksville, Louisiana on Friday. Yeah, this is actually the update from the actual first article I just read, read folks. So this is actually the real deal here. The activists the activists spit up into a 
split up into an inside team, tasking with occupying as many seats as we can, and, and an outside team whose job is to give the media the coverage they want before joining the out others outside. Activists were instructed to dress like conservatives and leave at home any significance that you're a liberal in order to blend in with the constituents. The audio reveals activists laughed about the poor people of Bullock's Bridge local consentment who might get stuck behind them. Local news coverage of the town hall said that many attendees were turned away from the town hall due to capacity restrictions. The, indivi the, the individual guy does does say that when you first start to lose lose the meeting, that's when you boo and hiss. One one identi one identified activist can be heard saying, "Right, I will go. I will." I was going to say that. Another actress replied by a local news outlet. The advertiser reported that members of the crowd frequently interrupted expressing this this uh, disagreement with some of Cassidy's. I'm sorry if I forget his name wrong. Positions and shouting out their own questions. <clears throat> I mean, folks, there you have it, right there. It's all a joke, a fraud, a rouge, and they all knew it. They're all just doing it because, basically, they're just to act stupid and disrupt everything. And with that, I guess we can call it a day here. Now, I want to bring up something here. You know that there was a new intro song, right? Yeah, you noticed it. Well, that was because, basically, Time to Say Goodbye, which is from the Ruby Volume 2 soundtrack, was basically copyrighted, and I kept getting copyright strikes on my video for basically using it, so I had to go with I May Fall. So, just to clear it up, it's a really good song if you listen to the full version of it. Just search it up on YouTube and you will find it. Very strong, very powerful song. But on that note, I would like to say thank you very much for watching the Infowars News Bits. I'm Infogutta. If you'd like to read more about these articles, please go to the link below or go to Infowars.com or Prismat.com. You can find hundreds of articles that I have read for you today. And as always, please like, please subscribe, and please, please donate. I really do need your support in the fight for liberty. Thank you, and God bless.